Hello, I am your host, Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to clean up your computer, uh, get rid of all the temporary files, your internet files, anything on your computer that's taking up uh, useful space. I'm going to show you how to clean all that up. Uh, you have everything from internet files, um, installation files, Windows updates, um, uh, anything you've deleted. Uh, there is a, a huge number of places that can store temporary files that you don't normally see. Uh, the main one that you see is the internet uh, and the recycle bin. Uh, as you can see here uh, in my recycle bin here uh, that it shows that it's full of well, that's because there is stuff in there well this is the easiest one you that you see but there are other places that internet files are stored but you can't see them um, if a computer did updates if you did install programs um, uh, old files that you've deleted um, you can see those. Uh, you can also delete internet f uh, temporary files, but I want to show you how to clean the entire computer. Any temporary files that's on the computer, whether it's the internet, the recycle bin, uh, Windows updates, I'm going to show you how to clean those up. So let me go ahead and move this back. Uh, first thing you want to do, uh, let me go ahead and uh, rearrange these. There we go. Um, what you do is go down here. Now this computer here is Windows 8. The same thing will work on Windows 7, Vista, even XP. Um, what you do is you want to access the hard drive, uh, which is drive C. Now in Windows 8, uh, you want to go down here to your uh, your uh, file explorer. Uh, this will bring up your your folders and every single uh, storage device that's on your computer. Now if you're using 7, uh, 7 does the same thing. You can also click on here uh, on the folder to bring up the computer. If you're using Vista or XP uh, you want to click on the start menu. Um, and then go to uh, my uh, computer uh, or an XP is called my computer and then you want to look up your C drive which is this one here uh, it's always your C drive that is your primary drive everything you do in the operating system is stored on that drive now what you do is you right click on your C drive you're going to see a menu come up when the menu comes up select the bottom one it says properties now here is the properties for the C drive this gives you all the uh, information about your computer or about the hard drive it lets you know how much space is being used how much space is being free and it shows your total capacity of the hard drive or at least a partition that the drive is using uh, you also have uh, tools to where you can uh, do error checking optimize the, uh, the fragment the drive you can check your hardware you can even show you know if you want to share the hard drive uh, the security and quota uh, this sets a amount of space that each user on the computer can use, but we'll get to that some other time. Uh, let me go ahead and go back to general. Now here, as you can see, uh, it shows you in a pie graph as to how the drive is being used. Now what you want to do to clean up all temporary files uh, on your computer, including the hidden ones, what you want to do is click this. It says Disk Cleanup. Now, when you run Disk Cleanup, it's going to scan your entire hard drive 
and see what can safely be deleted. Um, memory dumps from crashes, temporary files. Um, as you see here, here's the list. Uh, downloaded program files, temporary internet files, offline web pages, uh, pu uh, per user archived Windows error reports. Uh, what that is is anytime Windows um, runs into a problem it creates an error report and it does this per user so if you have two accounts on this computer then each account has its own error reports and it gets sent off well it shows here how many there is over here on this side it shows you the amount of space it's being taken uh, this is the system uh, as you, you can see the recycle bin uh, setup logs each item on here shows how much space is being taken. Now you can select which ones you want to do. In this case you can select all of them. As you see here. Now down here this will show you the total amount of disk space you gain. In this case I'm going to gain almost one gigabyte. It's just 809 megabytes. Which is just shy of a gigabyte. Now you can also look and see what each little item is. And down here it describes what that is. Uh, if you go to temporary for internet files, it gives you a description as to what it is. Uh, offline pages, each item gives you a description of what that is. So you can decide if you want to go ahead and delete it or if you believe that you may need it in the future. Now, the other thing you want to take care of uh, this is just a basic. You want to also do what's called a system uh, cleanup system files. Now this is all the files that the system did. Windows update, Windows installation, um, things like that. These are the hidden stuff. What you do is you click on that. The program is going to restart. Now what, it's going to take a few minutes uh, for it to do the system cleanup. After the program restarts, you're going to see the same uh, progress bar. And after that, uh, it's going to bring you to this new window. Now, <clears throat> what you see here uh, is the same thing that you saw earlier, but you're going to see some new items appear. For instance, here you have the Windows Update Cleanup. It shows you how much space is being used for it. Uh, what this is, it keeps copies of all the installed updates, even the older ones, the ones that's already been installed and stuff. Uh, most of these you can get rid of uh, that you no longer need. Uh, again, you got your downloaded programs, temporary files. Um, everything you want to clean, put a check mark in this box on the left. As you can see here, I got almost every chat mark, even my temporary files. The temporary files is what the system uses during installations, uh, software updates, installations, uh, thumbnails. This is from um, pictures and stuff when you're in File Explorer or uh, Windows Explorer and you're looking through your pictures. It shows those little thumbnails. That's where this comes from. Uh, user file history, that is the history for uh, file history. Uh, every time that's like the recent uh, file history from users. Um, that's what that is for. Uh, what you want to do is check everything on here that you want deleted. Down here is going to show you uh, the amount of disk space. As you can see here, uh, I'm going to clean out over one gigabyte of space. Now if you're not sure what each item is, put a, uh, just click on it and this will tell you uh, what, the, what it's for. Uh, the system error mini dumps and memory dumps, that's when the computer crashes and it saves all the information that is in uh, the memory to help a technician find out why a program uh, crashed. Now once you have everything selected, now you can just click OK. 
and it's going to say are you sure you want to permanently delete these files you, cl you click on delete files and then it's going to go through the process now this could take a few minutes depending on how many uh, how much space is going to be deleted once the program completes the box will disappear um, if you're still you can still open up the properties of window of the drive as I, as I do here as I showed earlier and you can run disk cleanup again and it will show you uh, anything else that can be deleted that may have not have been deleted now don't be surprised if you still find some temporary files and stuff on here uh, or thumbnails this is because the computer uh, you know if you're doing thumbnails while it's cleaning up your computer or been on the internet while it's cleaning it up you're still going to see some on here as you see here um, I'm still showing thumbnails which is just three megabytes but as you can see uh, it cleaned everything up um, I got very little usage uh, all my free space all my space has been cleared out and now your, my, your computer can work much much more efficient well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.